wonderful people welcome back to my channel oh yes oh 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 welcome back guys how are you all doing hope you all are popping hope you all are doing great so in today's video what i'll be talking about today is how to enjoy ses how to enjoy making love how to enjoy making out yes with your partner because there are most people don't even enjoy it when most people don't enjoy making love most people don't even enjoy making having sex so guys that is what i'll be teaching you all today so guys if you want to know all these things continue watching this video i'll be right back <music> Welcome back to my channel. So, what are we talking about today? But first of all, if you're a new subscriber, you're highly welcome to my channel. If you're an old subscriber, thank you so much for always stopping by to watch my videos. I appreciate. If you're a silent viewer, thank you guys so 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 much for always always watching me. But please consider subscribing one day and again also try and be commenting. Okay, I would love to be seeing you guys comment. Okay, guys, so let's just dive straight into this video before any other thing so guys what are those things you should do so that you'll be able to enjoy ses you'll be able to enjoy making love because i've heard most people saying i don't like doing it so much but i don't even wait well, sometimes when you talk about sex people will just freak out so people will just freak out so people will be like what are you talking about just stop that then what are you saying stop it so i don't even want, even want to hear anything about this about that about sex some people some people are around man when they when you tell them about sex some people will be like what is this one talking about but let me tell you sex is something that you should both of you should enjoy not one person one partner enjoying it is something that the two of you should what enjoy so guys if you want to know all these things i'm not to to talk right now continue watching this video 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 okay so guys what is that number one thing you should do so that you'll be able to enjoy sex one is try and always educate yourself what i mean by educating yourself you can you can you can get yourself um you can make do a research about sex yes you can research you can get yourself a book you read you can get yourself a book, you read, you know how to enjoy this thing I'm talking about right now. To know how to enjoy it because most people don't even enjoy it. And see, it is not good. It's both of you. You cannot be giving your partner, your partner alone cannot be enjoying it. It's something that both of you should enjoy. Okay, guys, that's my number one. Try and, it's, I try and educate yourself to so that you know how sex is being enjoyed so that you know the things necessary things you should do in, in order to what enjoy having sex so guys the second one i have here is that you should always try and give yourself time yes you know you know as people age when people start to age the libido starts to slow down yes the libido some people's libido they just, just start to slow down so just try and be giving yourself time don't try and be forcing yourself if you just know that you're not in the mood you just leave it calm down just calm down give yourself that time you need yes everyone needs that there's time for everything as the saying goes there's time for everything okay just allow yourself be yourself just leave yourself okay yes just give yourself that time you need because honestly speaking you need the time just get just put yourself together don't worry you will enjoy it okay don't worry you enjoy it trust me okay guys that's the second one i have here the third one i have here is that you should uh, make use of what what i call lubrication yes lubrication so um you know this lubrication i'm talking about um you can go to you can go to what is it called pharmacy ask them please um, I want a lubricant um, that I can apply if I want to have SES. Talk, talk to them. Don't be shy. They will give it to you. It's sold in the pharmacy. You see them in the pharmacy. This everywhere. Don't be shy because it's for your, it's for your good. People are going to get in. People are buying them. Just don't be shy. That's I don't know why people will be shy because of something that because of you because you don't know what people will say maybe people there will consider you what they will talk about no everybody is different everybody is different if you are the type that is 
always dry. Yes, the different type of that is always dry. Please, they just go to the pharmacy, ask them for it, or you can go to your doctor or any sex therapist, the person, the sex therapist, or your doctor or the pharmacist will give it to you. Trust me, they will give it to you. Okay, guys, so that you'll be able to enjoy it as others are enjoying it. Let me tell you, trust me, it is good. Sex is good if you are with your partner, if you are with the right person that knows how to do it, if you are with the, somebody because some people know how to how to make their partner enjoy it. If you are with the right person, trust me, you will enjoy it. Okay, don't be scared if you are the type that's always be like, I don't want this, I don't know how to do, do no, don't just don't be scared about that okay if they just pray that you get a somebody that we know how to handle you will know how to know your uh, weakness and don't trust me you will enjoy that okay yes guys that's this number three number three says use it. lubrication the fourth one here says that you should try and maintain your physical what affection what do i mean by maintaining your physical affection even if you are tired Tensed up or upset about about the problem or engage. If you are tired about uh, or everything, maybe you are just thinking about what's going on in your life. I know that yes, there are a lot of things that might be going on in your life, but also you have to try and enjoy yourself. Life, we live life once, we don't live to life twice. Once somebody is dead, the person is just gone and dead. Just dead, you just need to just have to try and enjoy yourself. Just make out that time for yourself. Uh, 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 that's that uh, uh, build up that uh, what's it called physical affection yes you need to build it up with your partner or you can as well self start by uh, maybe uh, with your partner you can start by kissing him or start by calling him or start by kissing her or calling her yes you can start by all these things trust me you cannot enjoy it sex is good sex is can sex is enjoyed that's why i said before before we enter sex you have to first of all start with what love making yes because love making once you start with love making, you have to first of all start by kissing, cuddling, smooching, touching, fingering, all these things, sucking, licking, all these things are the things you should first of all do before what? Before you end, before uh, 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 penetration. So you need to first of all start uh, uh, build that physical what affection. Okay, guys, that's the number. Is this number four, right? Yes, that's my number four. Then the fifth one I have here is that you should first of all practice touching what do i mean by practice touching yes it's almost the same thing as uh, maintaining physical art affection you should try and practice how to touch each other be with your partner you can start touching him maybe you can start by running your fingers through his hair just be touching him from there to his face by then you'll be you have started building up that tension you have started building up that maybe by then you start to get aroused yes yeah that yes hey i want to do this that yes babe let's just let's just make love but then all these things you just have to start by touching each other start practice how to touch each other some partners don't some partners some partners they don't touch each other and i don't even know why see try and always learn how to touch your partner try and always learn how to touch each what other okay guys yes that's the fifth one i have here now the sixth one is um you should try different um positions yes different that the kind different kinds of positions we have now I, I think i have a video on that on my channel if you like and check that out different x positions yes we have different x we have doggy we have missionary we have cowgirl we have reverse cowgirl we have um, what is it called? There are different, different kinds of um, S position these days. So there are different kinds. The kind that the, the girl can be on top, your, uh, the woman can be on top, the man can be on top, anybody can be on top. So you can as well try different S position, even if they are, you know, missionary position now is now advanced. Yes, most people don't know, but missionary is now what advanced. There are ways you can now do missionary position and enjoy it very well, not just lying on the bed, being on the bed like a log of food, being on the bed and allowing your partner to be killing him or herself. No, S, um. The SCX is meant to be enjoyed by both partners. Yes, that's why I said the both of you should enjoy it. Make sure that the man should make sure that the woman is enjoying it. And why the woman is making sure that the man is enjoying it. And the woman again should not pretend that she's enjoying it because many people pretend to be, many ladies pretend to be enjoying it, whereas their aunt's enjoying it. 
Please, woman, if you woman, if you are not enjoying the what he's doing, what he's doing, direct him. If I'm not enjoying it, if my husband is doing something on my body and I'm not enjoying it, I'll place it, I'll take his hand and put where he's supposed to put it so that I'll be able to enjoy it. Yes, you should try and always enjoy what you are doing. You should try and always enjoy what she's doing to you. What is, if she's not doing it correct, please tell her, babe, no, just put your hand there. This is how you, this is how you should do it. This is how you're going to do it. And again, guy, if and again, woman, if you're not enjoying it, just tell your partner, babe, see, I'm not enjoying it. I don't like it this way. Touch me this way. Caress me this way. Yes, guys, this is it. Try different positions. There are different end positions you can try out. You can try and be on top of your man and see. Trust me, if you be on top of your man, you will not even know where you orgasm. Trust me when I say, if you can be on top of your man and again, the man will be now controlling. Yes, you'll be on top of it now. You'll be the one now controlling the uh, the D. Okay, guys, so trust me, you enjoy it. It is meant to be enjoyed, not to be, not to be, not suffering yourself. Okay, yes, guys, that's the number six. Okay, the seventh one here is that you should all try and write down your fantasies, yes, and, and show your partner those things that you know that you would love during um love making yes maybe maybe you have watched a movie and the movie got you aroused you can write down everything that happened in that movie and tell your partner babe this is how i want it you can imagine something maybe you know you understand what i mean try and write down your fantasies i have my fantasies i know what i want i know where i where i want to be touched and i'll get aroused i know where everything i want so try and write down your fantasies and show your partner and again you will maybe you'll be able to uh, uh, know how to handle you during SEX. Okay, guys, yes, that's the what's the seventh one. The eighth one I have here is that you should use a vibrator. Yes, you should try and use a vibrator. This helps women learn about their um about their own sexual response and all or uh, and allow her to show her partner um what she wants likes yes and please if you're getting a vibrator make sure that your partner knows about that you're getting a vibrator don't just go get a vibrator and be using it only on yourself you can beg your partner babe see i want to get a vibrator let's try a vibrator um and he might want that okay just tell uh, let babe let's get an S scx toy yes let's try it out let's just try new things yes new things can be tried uh, uh, on the bed with your partner Nah, try new things babe i want to try new things let's let us try new things you can never tell that maybe you has what he wanted you, you maybe um he wants the both of you to even get that uh, but you don't know how to tell you about it just try just try and tell your partner babe let's try this new thing let's try this out let's try that out as long as it's not something that will be very stressful for the both of you or for him or something that will cost a lot of money for the both of you or for him or her so try new things just get a vibrator let him use it on you both of you can use it yes there are ways you can both of you can use a vibrator okay guys yes that's the number eight the number nine here is that you should try and always re relax yes try and do something suiting together before having sex yes i can just try and go to watch movies you can be at home and watch the movies on netflix on youtube anywhere there are places you can watch movies the both of you can watch movies try and relax relax your mind relax yourself don't always be stressing yourself out hey am i am i going to do this am i going to do that what am i going to do how is it going to be how is this thing going to be done see problem does you know, always get that thing you want try and always relax your mind put on some light music um put on some candles both of you can be together even be together on the bed but just be together try and and uh, relax your mind relax your mind because you're a human being you need to relax up at times stop thinking about hey am i going to feed the family yes at times you can think about well, you're going to feed the family it's true but you guys should eat but at the same time you should always try and relax yourself okay get relax yourself don't always try stressing yourself what out Okay, guys, the intense one here is that you should try and do casual exercise. Yes, do yoga, try different types of kinds of exercises you can do. So you can do um do pelvic floor muscles. Yes, these exercises can be done anywhere. You can do it at home, you can do it um uh, uh you can be done while driving, yes, you can be done while you can be done while sitting down, while doing anything, you can do any kind of exercise, yes. 
there are, and most of you don't even know that there is something called um, um, SCH exercise. Yes, if you don't know, you should try and talk to your doctor or your sex therapist um, about it so that the person can help you out, can show you where to what these things can be done or how they can be done. Okay, guys, please try always be yourself, try always uh, be calm, try always relax, enjoy yourself. Life, we live life worse, okay? That's one thing we all should know that we live life worse. Okay, guys, always again, the first one is try educate yourself, give yourself um, time, always use lubrication, maintain physical affection, um, practice touching, maintain physical affection, try different positions, um, write down your fantasies, yes, that our father use a vibrator try and relax and again do casual exercises so guys this is how of ending this video i am sure you enjoy watching this video and please if you do consider subscribing smash that subscribe button okay subscribe to my channel like comment and share this video to your friends your family members okay guys thank you all so much for watching this video i appreciate a lot thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you i love you see you all once again in my next video bye ciao take care love you